Two seven-inning games on tap. The Dodgers. Welcome to minor league baseball and their antics. But we're actually here because AAA adopted the ball strike challenge system this year. It used to be single A. We actually proposed this system back in 2019. Seriously, read it. It's basically the same thing. Each team gets three challenges per game on any ball or strike looking call. The pitcher, catcher, or batter, only them, can challenge it. Challenges must be immediate with no delay. The signal is a hand on top of the head if it's not verbal. If the umpire's call is overturned, the team retains the challenge. If the call is upheld, the team loses the challenge. Simple, right? Let's see it in action. Andres' second strikeout, the pitch to Elliot Ramos is called for a strike. And he's going to challenge this pitch. It'll be our first challenge today. Last night was pretty in line with what we saw in that one series in Round Rock last year in which most of the misses tended to be early in the game. Call is upheld, so Sacramento will have two challenges remaining. First pitch from Tillo. Low for ball one, but Sanchez has asked for a challenge. And looking at the review, the ball just barely got the bottom boundary of the zone. It's down around the knees for strike three. Stevenson waited an awful long time to tap his helmet, and he's not going to be granted the challengers because the cast change tends to change. Coulter does not like that call, but it looks like he's not going to challenge, just looks to the sky instead. It's again, one of the strategy elements in these challenge games is how many do you use early? There's some issue with the Dodgers dugout right now. I think they're saying that Coulter was not attentive with eight seconds left, and it should have been an automatic strike. Called for strike one. But there's going to be a challenge. Pitch is being challenged. Stevenson asking for the challenge, and it missed. It's going to be ball three. Successful challenge makes it 3 and 0 to Stevenson. They'd eventually go 21 and 6. Time called. We've got a balk against Wright. Just so you don't feel left out, it's a secret balk video. Pretty simple start stop. Going from stretch to set messes that up. It's a balk. This is also a secret ejection video. Here it is. Swings and hammers one down the left field line, but it is a foul ball. What? They just called it fair. You've got to be kidding me. There is no way in he heck that is a fair ball. This is a ball hit out of the stadium, so it's a home run issue, fair or foul. Well, the camera didn't capture it. The plate umpire is the umpire who has calling responsibility on this play because there is no one on the third base line. You're working inside in this configuration's three-person crew. So the plate umpire has the call, but another umpire has definitive knowledge that that call was incorrect. The crew meets, and they change it. Now to talk to the coach. It is now going to be called a foul ball. Here comes manager Dave Bar Brundage to ask about it. But I mean, that was so clearly foul. I mean, that didn't even look remotely close from our view up here. I was stunned when I saw the home plate umpire, Mark Stewart, wave his finger in the air. So what was initially ruled again, a game-tying home run, is a foul ball. It is still 7-4 for the time being. And Dave Brundage has now been ejected from this game. So now that we've seen it, what do y'all think of the challenge system? I just know that if I was the batter and the pitcher catcher challenged this and I got a strike called on me, I would probably not be happy. But then again, turnabout is fair play. The bottom boundary of the zone.